and sugar and then it's time to bake. And then you add lots of chocolate, mm. my favourite kind of cake. Oh, well, now it's time for more food fun with Driver Dan. Alex, wait, we have to cut it first. All aboard! It's Driver Dan's Story Train! Hello, everyone! Hello, Driver Dan! Which of our friends are we going to see? Which of our friends do you think it will be? Climb aboard and travel with me. All aboard the story train. Yeah. All aboard the story train. I think Twinkle has seen someone up ahead. Can you guess who it might be? Is it Millie and Lily? It sounds a bit like Hip and Hop. Ah, that looks like Hip and Hop. You know, I think you're right. It is Hip and Hop. Let's go and see. Oh, I love carrots. Crunchy, munchy carrots. Yeah, I love carrots. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Hey, Hip. It's Driver Dan and Twinkle. Hello. Hello, Hop. Nice to see you. Oh, no! That was the last one! Huh? The last one! The last what, Hip? The last carrot driver, Dan. Oh, I just love carrots and they're all gone. I'm so hungry for another one. Well, we're on the way to Story Corner, so perhaps we can call on Sweetie. She usually has lots of tasty things to eat. Probably some carrots, too. Good idea, Dan. Sweetie's bound to have something for you to nibble. A snack? An orange crunchy snack, perhaps. Let's go. Yeah, let's go, then. Let's get those carrots. <laughs> We'd better do what Hip says. He's a hungry bunny. Hip is in a hurry. Oh. He thinks Sweetie might have carrots for oh. him. <laughs> Are you ready too? We're ready to go, Dad. Ready! Well, here we go! Twinkle says Sweetie has a friend visiting. Do you know who it might be? There's someone else. Look! Blue with flowers and wheels. Tulula! <laughs> Looks like you're right again. Well done! Let's say hello. Oh, Tulula. I love strawberries. Would you like one? Lovely, thank you. Mm. Mm. I think strawberries might be my favourite. What's your favourite food, Tallulah? My favourite food? You'll have to guess. Is it strawberries? No, not strawberries. Try again. Oh, oh wait, I know. It's blackberries or red currants. No, keep guessing. Oh, hello. Hello, sweetie. What's in the basket? Strawberries. I picked them for oh. everyone. Would you like mm. one? Yes, please. Delicious. Yum, fruity. Oh. I was trying to think what Tallulah likes best, so we're playing a guessing game. Well, I'll give you a clue. It's something red. Mmm, carrots. No, not carrots. Help yourself, Hip. I thought you'd like them. Crunchy. Munchy. Something red? Are you sure mm. it's not strawberries? Oh, can you give us another clue, Tallulah? Well, it's red. Oh, but some of them might be green. Anyway, they're always round. It's red or green and it's round. Whatever could it be? Oh, mm, carrots! No, still not carrots. No, I still don't know. Is it a tomato? Not a tomato. Keep guessing. Mmm. It's red and round. Do you know what it could be? Yes, I think I know. So do I. Shh, don't tell yet. Let's see if Sweetie and Hop can guess too. Give us another clue, Tallulah. It's red, it's round and it grows high up. In that case, it's definitely not a carrot. You. Now then, red, round, grows high up. Hang on. I know what it is. And me. It's, it's an, an apple. apple. That's it. 
apples are my favourite food. And carrots are our favourite, aren't they? Thanks. Did you guess it was an apple? Well done. Yes, I did. Apples grow on trees. And they're red. Sometimes they're green. Well, I think it's time to visit Story Corner. Yeah, yes, Dad. Yes, yeah. Dan. Come Let's on. Go. And are you coming too? Hooray. We're off to Story Corner. Everybody ready? Then let's go. All aboard the story train. All aboard the story train. We're going to have a story. I hope it's about food. Mmm, yummy food. Uh, uh. So what do you think the story should be about? I think the story should be about strawberries. Mm. Crunchy carrots, too. Is there a story about favourite things to eat? Mm, let me see. I think I know. Just the book. Wow. Are you all snuggled up and ready to listen? Yeah, yes. we're ready. Tell, Tell us, us a story. story. And all of you, are you sitting down comfy and ready to listen? We're ready. This story is called Bob and the Big Red Apple. Art Taylor wrote it and Tom Plant drew the pictures. It was definitely not getting up time when Mouse was suddenly woken by the strangest sound. Boing, boing, kawam! Goodness me, thought Mouse. And rubbing the sleep from his eyes, he threw his blankets off and poked his head out of his front door. Morning, Mouse. How's it going? Mouse looked out into the bright morning sun and realised the strange large shape in front of him was in fact the familiar shape of a large and quite strange anteater called Bob. That's a funny name for an anteater. Bob, yawned Mouse. You're up early. Did it wake you up too? What? said Bob. The noise, said Mouse. Oh, that noise, said Bob, and he grinned. Mouse looked up at him. When Bob said ah like that and grinned like that, it usually meant that Bob might be up to something. Well, it might have something to do with these, said Bob, and he pointed to the two large springs that he had tied to his feet. And that, said Bob, as he pointed to the top of the tree, where, high above him, one great big red apple was hanging from the branch. Bob was an anteater who loved apples. He had eaten all the other apples on the tree, all except for this last one. Slowly, Bob started to bounce up and down on his springs. Boing, boing, kawump! Ah, said Mouse. Bob lay on the ground, rubbing his nose. Mouse looked at him. I can help, said Mouse. You, said Bob, jumping up. How can you possibly reach that apple? I'm much bigger than you, and with this bouncer, I'm sure I can. Boing, boing, kawump. I'm sure I can help, said Mouse. How can you possibly reach that apple? I'm much, much bigger than you, and with this jumpy thing, I'm sure I can. I really can help if you just let me try, said Mouse. Thanks, said Bob, but that apple is all the way up there and you really are very small. He likes apples as much as I do. Mouse stepped back as Bob bounced and bounced left, he bounced right, he bounced up and up, and then he bounced into the tree with a big crash. Bob lay in a heap and rubbed his nose. He looked up at the apple still high above him in the tree. I know I can help, said Mouse, but said Bob, but Mouse shhed him and quickly scampered up the tree trunk and then along the branch and leaned out high above Bob. Careful, said Bob. Mouse quickly bit through the apple stem and to Bob's utter delight, the big juicy red apple fell down, down, down right onto Bob's nose. Bump! Brilliant, said Bob. Mouse scampered back down the tree to Bob and the apple. You know, Mouse, I'm sure I probably... Bob paused. Mouse looked up at Bob. Couldn't have done it without you. Would you like some? Don't mind if I do, said Mouse. And the two neighbours cheerfully shared a slightly late but very tasty apple breakfast. And that's the end of the story. What did you think? Thank you, Dan. That was a lovely story. With a lovely red apple. Lucky Bob. Well, Bob certainly was a funny anteater. And what did you think of it? Why not come and show me the story? Very early and waking up just like Mouse. And bouncing high up to get an apple. Boing, boing, boing. I'm a tiny mouse. I can wash my whiskers. 
We're running around like a little mouse. Scurry, scurry. Let's bounce like Bob again. Boing, boing, boing. No bouncing. Yay! Boing, 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 go boing. Boing, boing, bump. <laughs> I got the apple. I love apples. <laughs> well, there were lots of things we loved in that book. Lots of boinging and bouncing. And even a great big tasty red apple too, Tallulah. Driver Dan, I think that actually I like apples as well as strawberries. In fact, I like lots of food. Glad you enjoyed the story, everyone. But now it's time to go. All aboard! All aboard the story train! Ah, what a lovely time we had. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again soon because we all love stories. Bye, Driver Dan. Bye. My favourite stories are about animals. I like funny stories. I like bedtime stories. Let's draw. Let's draw an amazing animal. <laughs> it looks like an elephant bird can fly. It has butterfly wings, an elephant tongue, tiger stripes, and it has a snake's tongue. <laughs> it lives in a house and it eats leaves. It lives in Africa. It loves flying and it's going to France in the aeroplane. He's going to visit the cats who are his friends. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. It walks near the water and it can't cross with its legs, so it flies over. It likes sleeping in the high trees all the way up to the clouds. He's got long ears, a little pink nose, a red, a blue, a yellow top, and he just loves to draw. Hello!